Have you ever said the wrong thing accidentally? Or maybe you misunderstood someone else. Whether you're speaking or listening, communication mistakes happen to all of us. Thankfully, you can fix these problems by rectifying what you've said and clarifying what you've heard. Let's take a look at what these terms mean and how to use the techniques effectively. Rectifying means correcting a mistake. It's about damage control. Maybe you used the wrong word, gave a confusing example, or said something you didn't mean. If that happens, you can rectify your communication. First, you'll want to apologize and admit you made a mistake. If you offended someone, say, I'm sorry. If you gave the wrong information, say, I apologize, I misspoke. By taking ownership of your mistake, you'll prevent the problem from escalating. And on that note, don't make excuses. Focus on correcting the problem, not placing blame. After you've apologized, you'll then want to correct and clarify your message. Give more details, expand your point, and make sure everyone is clear before you move on. Finally, repeat the correct message. That way, you'll remove any doubt and make sure your listeners leave with the right takeaway. So, that's rectifying a communication mistake. But what happens when you're a listener? Sometimes a speaker mumbles their words, leaves out key details, or uses phrases we don't understand. When that happens, we can ask for clarification. Clarifying is making something clearer. When we seek clarification, we give the sender feedback or remove doubt. First, you'll need to admit you don't understand. Speak up. As long as you're polite, there's no harm in saying, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Second, get more information by asking clarifying questions. You might ask, could you please repeat that? Or, could you give me an example? Guide the speaker in the right direction by focusing on what you're confused about. Finally, once everything makes sense, say thank you and show the speaker you understand. That way, they'll know they can move on. Or if you're still confused, check whether you've got it right. You might say, thanks, just so I'm on the same page, here's my interpretation. Is that correct? The next time you experience miscommunication, don't ignore the problem. If you're speaking and make a mistake, rectify the issue. If you're listening and feeling confused, ask for clarification. You'll become a more effective communicator as a result.